Hello. Today what I'm going to do is show you how to set up a limb line. This here is a kit that came in the dump pouch, a pocket box this month. And that is the challenge, how to set up a limb line. Now this here is a, a bank line on a tube with two caps that actually you can pop off. And you can put stuff in here. Now this here comes with hooks. Now these hooks also, set this down for a second. These hooks also have a larger eyelet, so you can use it with this bank line, as you see. Now on my travels up this little stream, I also got a rock for a weight. And I have a couple worms here. So what I'm going to do first with this is I need to tie a loop on the end. And what I'm going to do is just turn this over, get it a fair size, and just put an overhand knot. I'm just going to fold this over, put an overhand knot, and what that's going to do is give me a fixed loop like this. That's all I need right there. Now, I'm going to put this together, squeeze it together like that, and put it through my eyelet. Then run it down and put my hook up through, and there you go. My hook is affixed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move down eh, a good foot and tie my rock on. Now this rock, you can see, has a little indent there and an indent there. So that's where I'm going to try to tie into. And what that's going to allow is that I won't lose my weight. I've used rocks for sinkers many times before and in the past I have lost them just because they wasn't suited for the job. So I'm going to put it in both those dents, pull it tight, and then give it another overhand knot. That's not going to move. So this is what I have right here. And now what I'm going to do, there's a deeper spot here in this little stream. And the water is very low this time of year. So I'll, there should be fish in here. Now with setting this up, I don't want to cut my line. So I'm going to kind of judge the depth of my water first. And I'm going to pull it back a limb. And I got to make sure that that limb is going to be strong enough to hold the fish when I catch it. You don't want to put on a limb that when you catch a fish it's going to snap the limb. You have to make sure that the limb is strong enough. So let's grab a limb and see what we can get set up. I think this spot right here should be great. So I'm just going to pull this back and tie my line onto that. I've got to kind of judge how much line I need, especially for that limb. I think that should be enough right there. So like I said, I'm just going to take the extra, put back there, pull this out, and tie this to it. Now you can use whatever knot you want. Clean some of that off. And what this is going to do is if I catch a fish, this is going to twitch up and down. And with that twitching up and down, I'll know that they're biting or I hooked a fish. So I'm just going to put an overhand knot. What I did is I just put a bite in it. That way there, I have it on both sides. And now I'll see if this is going to work without a worm on it. Okay, right there, I, it's not quite deep enough. So now I know I have to go down about another foot. I'll zoom in also and let you see how I'm doing this knot and tying this. 
So I've got a bite right here, and all I'm going to do is wrap that around and tie it into an overhand knot. Twice. So it just makes a basic knot. There we go, that's all we got to do. It's tied on there. I'll throw it back in and see if it's actually going to sit where I want it to. Good thing is, there we go, that's going to work perfect just like that. Well, that's the right depth right now, so I'm just going to pull this over and pull it up. Now I can bait my hook. I'll bait my hook, throw it in there, then we'll just watch for the twitch of this limb. Now I've got my hook baited. I'm going to take it and put it down in a spot. Now we just wait. So this is your basic limb line. Now I'm still fairly close to the bank, so I'm going to grab another limb and put it out there a little deeper. Now if I put it on this one here, that is going to allow it to go into deeper water, which I want. So. Grab some more line here and tie this off and throw it back in. Same way, just putting a bite in it. That way there I'm not going to, you know, I don't have to cut my line. Now I'm getting a uh, breeze every once in a while. Which is a good thing since that has its needles that limb it actually moves up and down with the breeze so it's almost like jigging your bait which can trigger a strike so that's an added bonus really I think I might have one on. What I'm going to do is uh, get down here, kind of jerk it, make sure that, that hook sets. Oh yeah. Oh! 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 I had one I lost it. Oh! felt the weight of it and such, but I lost it. Darn. Well, try again, I guess. So this here is the limb line. And you can set these up many places, up and down a stream, if it's legal in your area, and if you're in a survival situation or whatever. Now, I'm just going to leave this and wait for a little while longer and see if I do catch a fish. And I'm going to uh, keep filming it just in case. But if not, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. And it's always fun to fish. This here is just another way to fish. And it can be very, very productive. So, thanks again. Now, if I do catch one, I'll leave it at the uh, end of this little segment right here. If I don't, I didn't. <laughs> Have a good one. Take care.